Today we're going to explore the Ohiwa Harbour by kayak and then by night we're going to explore the Fakatani forests. Alright, today we are going to do two epic activities. We're going to be kayaking and then we're going to be spotting some kiwi birds at night. So here we go for another two-parters episode of New Zealand's Biggest Gap Year. I can't believe we're doing that much. We are joining Kenny and the team from KG Kayak for a kayaking tour on the Hohiwa Harbour. Although the original plan today was to kayak over to Whale Island, which is a bird sanctuary island, unfortunately the weather is not playing ball today and the swell is a little bit too dangerous to kayak over there. But because Ohope is a really awesome place to do water activities and there's lots of places to kayak to, we have the awesome alternative of the Ohiwi Harbour. There's about a hundred birds coming for my face right now. As you can see, the Ohiwi Harbour is famous for its abundance of bird life, especially birds like herons and kingfisher, and we see heaps of them today. But the Ohiwi Harbour also is known for having orca visit the harbour several times a year, as well as seals and penguins. And also on the way we are looking out for stingray, but unfortunately we're not lucky enough to see those little guys today. What I really like about the kayaks that KG Kayak have is that it's an open top kayak. It is super comfortable, especially for someone as tall and lanky as I am. It is perfect, we just sit on top of it and do our thing. I really enjoy that and it makes it so much easier to maneuver and enjoy the tour. After about 45 minutes kayaking, we arrive at the mangrove section of the Hohiwa Harbor. I really like mangrove because it's a breeding ground for wildlife. Heaps of fish actually live and feed in the mangrove, which are trees growing literally from inside the water. It's a really cool area to explore and if the water were a little bit clearer, without the massive rain we had this morning, we would be able to see so many fishes just below us. The turning point of our tour today is going to be one of the four main islands of the harbour. This one is Uretara Island and it's really well known for its Puhutakawa trees, which are those massive trees right here on screen, which are overhanging above the water, making it for a really fun kayaking area. The area is looking absolutely fair Eric. The water is turquoise, the trees are peaceful overhanging the water, the reflection on the trunks of the trees is absolutely gorgeous. So we take the time to relax here. We don't really kayak too hard while making our way along the coastline of the Uritera Island. Not only is Uritera Island a really stunning island to explore, it also has a wealth of history as well, which our guide Kenny tells us all about as we're kayaking around the perimeters. He tells us that it used to be a famous Maori settlement and then a European family used to live on the island around the 1900s, living a pretty isolated life out here. Today the island is more famous for being packed with wildlife thanks to its regenerating forest and in particular the Pohutu Kawa trees which Robin has been talking to you about. But these trees are best seen during the Christmas period around December because they start to blossom red flowers and that is why the Pohutu Kawa tree is better known as the New Zealand Christmas tree. Aside from learning all the fascinating history of Uritara Island and the surrounding Ohiwa Harbour, another reason to have a guide is so you know how to utilise the tide which is ever-changing in the Ohiwa Harbour. He is teaching us how to utilise the tide so that we can use the current to get back toward base as we start making our way back on the return journey. I have to say, utilising the tide on our way back makes the journey back so much easier and so much faster than the journey in. I feel like every single time we're doing one of those kayaking tours, we are learning a new skill and that really helps us become much more advanced paddlers and that is so cool. I can't believe that even on the first day of arriving in Fakatani, we are finding two activities to do in one day. And that just goes to show that there is so much to do in this area and it should definitely be on your itinerary for traveling around the North Island of New Zealand. Next, on day 282, part two, we are going with the Fakatani Kiwi Trust on a kiwi spotting night tour, where we're gonna be trying to find this iconic kiwi bird inside one of the local forests, and trust us, we're gonna get much more than what we bargained for. So join us then. Oh, 
Ohiwa. 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 Okay. Today we are going to explore the Ohiwa. Ohiwa. Today we're going to explore the Ohiha. Ohiha. Oh, the Ohi. Ohiwa. Ohiwa. Today we're going to explore the Ohiwa Harbour by kayak. 